Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Mandy and I want to thank you for being here and today I am going to just kind of, I've had quite a few interests and requests in this so I'm going to start off with a basic like to-do list um, created in Canva if you are interested in how to do that. Um, this is the video that I will show you just some basic stuff where you can make a to-do list that ultimately held all of this for me. So I will also show it to you in, in my Canva as well as how I basically put it together in just a few simple steps. Um, it looks more complicated than it is. It can, you know, be a little time consuming, but if you are interested in this, I hope that you will stay tuned, hit the like button, and if you enjoy it, I hope that you will subscribe for more and let me know if you are interested in these kind of videos and maybe I can do, you know, a couple times a month where we create some things together for our planner. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, again, we're gonna try to like make this, but you won't see all of this stuff on here. I just didn't have an extra printout of it blank. But let me go into my Canva account here and show you the actual design that I had made. And um, yeah, you will be able to see it without all of my, um, you know, decorative stickers and stuff. So um, first of all, you can get a free trial of the Canva Pro, um, but you don't have to have anything you don't have to buy anything with Canva, especially with what I'm going to show you today. But what I do love about having the the trial or, you know, the subscription is, um, I gotta turn that on. Um, you have the ability to have like organization and folders and stuff, so. Okay, so as you can see, here is what it would look very similar to. So as you can see, it is, it's a little touchy too. By the way, I have to do it on my iPad. I don't have a computer that I can record the screen of yet. So that's what this is um, for. So hopefully if you have can an iPad or even a phone or something where it's much easier for you to do stuff on Canva, this might be helpful for you. I have had to learn tips and tricks on all different types of devices. So, um, I am glad, but at first I only knew how to use it on the computer but now I and my phone, but now I know how to use it on my iPad. So this is what we're gonna create. So I'm just going to add a page so that way I can kind of keep going up and down because I can't view pages side by side in Canva. If I can, and you guys know that I can, and I'm just not sure how, let me know in the comments below. I researched it and I could not figure it out. So typically when I wanna find something out and I research it, I figure it out. And that was something I could not figure out. So what we're gonna do is we are just basically going to do something like this. Now I did have two versions. I have one that doesn't have these, these bottom like box and lines here because I wanted there to be space for stickers or you know decoration if I wanted. So what we're gonna do is the basic to-do list with the five day boxes of your top three, okay? So basically what you wanna do, and usually since I already have this made, what I would end up doing is just copying and pasting it, right? So let's see if I can do this with a 9% of battery. Okay, so, but because we're starting from scratch, I'm not going to copy or paste, copy and paste any of this. I'm going to show you exactly what I would do to create this list. Okay, um, now mind you, this is a, the size, is the um, seven and a quarter by, no, is it nine by seven and a quarter? So nine inches, seven and a quarter, okay? So that is the size of this, but you can do it on any size. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is try to get these boxes. Now these are just very basic things. So you would go to elements, there's a space for lines and shapes, this actual like frame box. Okay, there we go, that's what I want. So 
So I'm gonna make it the size that I want. It just depends on how many lines and how many boxes you guys want. So, um, once you make it the size that you want it to be, you can kind of move it around on your page. And I like to find the um, the margin there. And it looks like I probably want it even smaller. That would be a really big box. So I'm gonna kind of make it about that size looks good. And if you think about it, when it prints out, it's a pretty big box. So it just kind of depends on how much, <clears throat> excuse me, how much space you want and all of that. So at what I what I would say is create all of the ones that you want first. So we're gonna do that and now we're gonna do a line and we're in lines and shapes. So I'm just gonna get the typical, you know, basic line. We're gonna, let's see, where did I put my line? Oh my gosh, this is so sensitive. I've never had it be this sensitive before. Okay, there we are, you guys. Wow, it's almost delayed probably because of my, <laughs> Um, battery okay so as you can see it's really really dark so I don't like it that dark I when it prints out I like it um, to not stand out too much but no, you know you can see that there's a line there so you can go up here and change the my phone cut me off and now we're back okay I always change it to one that's like the lowest that I can change it to Okay, so now that we're changed with that, oh my gosh, it is never this sensitive. I probably shouldn't even be doing this video, but it's like the only time that I have. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit more and just kind of get it pretty close to my box. And I'm gonna kind of look up here and see if that seems like a good space. I mean, I, it could have been a little closer to my box on the page and it's a little closer to my box than it is up here. So I'm good with that. Okay. Now here is what's going to save you a ton of time is on your computer. You would click over here and drag to select all of these on the iPad. What I have to do is hold it down until it says one item selected then I can select other items and it's basically like the click and drag thing on a computer. Now that I've selected all of the items that I want selected, I hit done. I'm gonna go ahead and group it. So if you didn't see what that was, I hold down one of the items until that comes up. I click on any other items I wanna have you know, together. I hit done. And I could move this on its own if I needed to, um, but what I'm gonna do is group it. So I'm gonna hit this group word there, and then what I'm going to do is duplicate it. So I need to hit these three dots, and that um, little looks like paper with a plus sign is to duplicate. So now I'm gonna go ahead and line them up and make multiples of all of these. So instead of just doing one by one by one, which I could totally do, what I'm gonna do again now is I'm going to hold it down till it selects that whole group, select the other group now, hit done, and it won't let me group that together, so I could I could probably ungroup it and do it all, but I'm just gonna um, keep it the way it is and duplicate, the, duplicate those four and put them, you know, just right underneath there. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get all of these four. And as you can see, it's going to now create another four, which I'll have eight here once I duplicate those again. And I'm not being perfect with the lining up, you guys, just to show you like it, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'll show you how I make sure that it's lined up pretty nicely in just a moment. 
Okay, so again, I did that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some more. And because they're grouped, I'm not having to click the box and the line. It's the box and the line is already together. Okay, so I have eight here. I'm gonna do eight more. That's gonna mean I'm gonna I'm going to have 16 now. So now we are going to get somewhere with this. So I do have to, it's probably a lot easier to do this on a computer, you guys, but so as you can see, now I have my whole list there. List is ready to go. What I wanna do though, is I want to hold them all down, get them all selected again. I should probably turn down my monitor because I have it up in case, <laughs> and you can probably hear it. So I'm turning that down if you, okay. So now I have all 16 items selected. Here's also where I wanted to mention that if you are particular about how many lines you have for a to-do list, for example, I have my top three a day here. Well, three times five is 15. I think I have 17 here. So it's just really whatever works for you. Um, if you want it to be 15, then what you would do is delete one of these. But for right now, I want it selected I'm gonna hit done. What I need to do now is go to position. I want them to be all lined up very nicely vertically. So that does it for me. I could have hit tidy up as well, but when I did the vertically button, it tidied it up, I guess. Okay, so now I can click out of there and look, it's, it's spaced out just fine. It is like ready to go. So I'm going to also click on them you know, I think if I wanted to group them, I have to ungroup all of them and then group them all together. So let me go through that process with you guys actually and show you because it may not be something that I have to do, but as you can see, when I select it, for example, I, I, I can't group them and I really wanna group it together. So the reason why I wanna group it together is because I want to leave a little bit of space at the bottom and I wanna be able to move it all. And to me, this is less tedious, <laughs> even though it seems tedious, this is less tedious than having to do each little element. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. So I have one item selected, now I just need to select all of the rest of them. And sometimes, you know, I accidentally hit the wrong space and that's fine, I've learned that. See, I might even have to zoom in even more. It's just sometimes things are so close together that I'm not able to click on one of them. But as you can see this, to me, this, I've got all 32 elements selected. Now I'm gonna group it all together. So now if I want to move this whole thing, I can move it over here. I can move it over here. You can, you know, do with it whatever you want. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make sure that it is up somewhat high, cause I did like it up there. Um, I liked that I could put stickers and decorate down here. So that's basically my to-do list, my running to-do list. Now we are going to focus on these boxes, okay? So there are different types of boxes. Some of them are particular in how you can size them. If you choose one of these boxes, you can size them any way you want. What I ended up doing was getting, where, are, where is it? Let's see. Oh, let's get that out of there. I think my search was, that's... all right. So a lot of times I just use some things that I've recently used and probably not gonna be in here. Oh, these are fun to use, these boxes, because you can color the inside and the outside if you want it to be colored. 
I typically, I love color, but I also love just a blank, you know, space so that way I can decorate it with stickers if I want to. Okay, these are the ones that I'm looking at. Why couldn't I find those earlier? All right, so this box right here, as you can see, I don't know why it's, you can make it bigger but you can't make the sides go in you can't reshape it basically so um i went ahead and used these boxes um because i liked them and they provided the space that i needed so they were okay um so what i'm going to do is create the one that i want and then i will go through and duplicate those and create more for the rest of the week Okay, you guys, so there is one of the boxes. It's a little bit different just because I made the, on here I made the, you know, the Monday a lot smaller. I think that the, let's hold it here. I think that the boxes are going to be good. It, I used up more of the space, which I think will be nice. Um, so, you know, you can just kind of play around with it. And I don't know if you saw in that, that I had changed the box color to black because when I had zoomed in, I realized that they were purple and I didn't see that before. So when I changed this box color to black, it asked me at the bottom if I would like to change them all and I said yes, which was so helpful because I was realizing that I was gonna have to go through and ungroup this and change them all to black. So it wouldn't have been that big of a deal because I'm familiar with it now, but I know when you're just getting started and trying to create something for yourself, it can be pretty frustrating frustrating and turn you away when you have things like that happen. So it's nice that it has those options. Okay, so now we are almost done. I know it doesn't seem like we're almost done, but watch because now what we are going to do is we are going to create these boxes again. Now, again, if you were on your computer, you could just drag and highlight all of this and copy and paste, however, or duplicate. However, because I don't have the ability to film that way, I am going to have to do it this way, which isn't too much longer, but it is definitely longer. 
I'm gonna try to group these together. Oh good, it will let me group it. Sometimes if you don't see it up at the top, just hit the three dots and it will have other options there for you. I'm gonna group it. So now all of this is grouped. I am now going to duplicate it. And we are going to just basically put it how we want to on here. The reason why I liked having all of these like staggering is because I liked putting some decoration and I didn't like the look of it being like all straight down, all straight down. I Believe me, I'm pretty sure I tried and was like, eh, I don't know about that. So I know it says Monday, we'll fix that in just a minute. But now let's get one for every day of the work week. I'm choosing the work week. You can make these smaller and make seven of them, whatever works for you. Um, let's do another one. And here I didn't really care too much about the spacing of these ones, but you can definitely space them out as best as you can. Obviously I need to probably make them a little bit smaller or get them a little bit closer together. So let's see what I can do. I do like to have some room at the top if I want to, I don't know, say like put a title or something or a quote. Um, but for this case, let's just kind of try to get all five of them here. And let's do one more. Now, if this wasn't working out, I would end up suggesting um, just highlighting the whole thing. And where are we at here? Why is, let's see. Oh, there we go. And bringing in one of these dots and it would make your box a little smaller. Okay, so it does seem like they are okay. I want to make sure there's room to write down, or to write things down. Let's look at my one up here. It seems like the lines maybe went a little bit farther, but I feel like I had quite a bit of room. So, you know, um, let's see. Maybe I could move these ones in a little bit. Let's see if that's what I wanna do. And like you can see there, it'll line them up for you and show you. Let's get rid of this, sorry, and get rid of that. Okay, that's much better. I apologize for my like filming skills and talking to myself if it bugs you. I mean, that's, I, I don't know. That's, <laughs> I'm, that's me. So, okay, so let's see what I'm gonna do here. You know what, I'm gonna keep the lines the way they are because usually this is a lot bigger than I think when it prints out on a piece of paper. So, as you can see, I can even change it to 100%. And it's, I mean, it's not even like the actual paper. So it's going to be bigger than I think. Now I need to change up my days. So even though it's grouped, it does allow you to change up your days. So you don't have to have any days here. You can make it however you want. Why did I say Tuesdays? <laughs> so when that happens, you do end up having to ungroup it. So that way you can focus on the day and just pull it apart like that. I don't need to worry about grouping it again unless I need to do something more with that, but I don't, where are we? It's so delayed. Okay, guys, and there you have it. I did leave space down here because if, you know, or you can add more, you can add other types of lists. I do wanna go ahead and add, show you how I'm gonna add the heading. What I like to do when I'm gonna add like words or something is I always end up just copying and pasting or duplicating one that I already have going on. And then I can change it by the size here, so. Let's make it a lot smaller. And I call this my weekly master to-dos. So, you know, it depends on what you would wanna call yours. Um, I like to say weekly because, 
Actually, I want to say this list could have even been longer. <laughs> um, weekly master to do's. So yeah, it's that's what's nice about this is what's, it's whatever your preference. Or you can just not call it anything and then write in what you want. Um, another thing that I liked doing is putting the week of. So let's go ahead and duplicate that, but make it a lot smaller. And let me zoom in a little bit here because it's hard to see. Select all. Um, week of sometimes it doesn't grab that that's what I want it to do so I want to make that smaller and move it over just a little bit but keep it in line with this heading here um, that doesn't look like it's in line okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a line so I'm just going to one of these is ungrouped. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate the line, bring it up here. Um, I think I need to group this or something and that way I can move it around. It's like a little close to the Monday box for me. Okay, you guys, so that is going to do it. That's how I made my pretty simple looking master to-do list. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoy these videos and would like um, some more, just, you know, it might just be motivational or whatever, just let me know in the comments below. I'm also at Mandy underscore Chavez chapters on Instagram and we can talk through there. I, uh, yeah, I hope that you guys are able to get from this video what you were wanting for those requesting and those not. I hope this was a good video for you. So I post Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and I hope to see you guys really soon for the next one.